War videos are finally back, and we're starting season 51, coming off of our first Masters finish ever. So now we have to hopefully fulfill expectations of reaching Masters once again. And we're matched up our first war here against DSVG. And my team today is Gladiator, Clairvoyant, and Luke Cage. All three of which I did not take to war once last season. So this is gonna be fun. We're gonna start today on path four against this Kindred on node four, which is largely, largely just here as a path splitting placement and not because he really benefits from the nodes. But we're gonna be taking this fight with Luke Cage and this fight is not gonna be the fastest because the fatigues will just make it to where we don't really do a lot of damage when you fuel them with inequity and the fact I'm never just gonna crit in this fight. But we, what we are gonna be able to do in this fight is just play really safe because once Luke gets his concussions up, it's a pretty good time from there on out. So um, I p refresh my debilitates right there and then I'm just gonna continue to uh, do more light attacks for exhaustions and then I get my concussions up and now this kindred is basically shut down like once we get the concussions ideally we keep them up and you can see I'm not getting any more fatigues placed on myself at this point what I could do is try to get them off of me which is what I should have done I kind of didn't for some reason um, it would have been beneficial if I would tried to get the fatigues off of me but at the same time uh, we drop an SP1, just get some nice burst damage, get an intercept right after, and now I want to rush to an SP2 to place more concussions, just because his health is getting lower, so I'm getting closer to that root phase, which I do want to fail if I can help it. So, again, this is not the fastest fight out there by any means. However, Luke just takes care of business, which is what he's very good at, so... Anyway, this Kindred is almost dead. We're just gonna finish him off with a combo and a little bit else. And then the Relic, and then a few basic attacks, and he's dead. So, uh, very easy Kindred fight because of the concussions just shutting off basically all the threats of the fight. And we do skip the uh, next fight on the path because I did path split that fight. However, we do have two full fights in Section 2 right here, starting against this Gore on Node 24, and then we have Penny on 33. But this Gore is going to be my first Claire fight in a long time, um, and... Honestly, this fight just reminded me how stupidly powerful this champion is, just because of the ease of use of how this is gonna work. Um, she's just gonna basically shut the gore off after I, after like 15 seconds of the fight, um, because we're just gonna get a buff immunity active on him, and then he won't have any buffs, and then we're gonna go red, uh, because I activated power backs, which probably was a bad thing, because of how much power I'm gonna get in this fight. It might've been better if I didn't have power backs, um, but either way, we drop an SP2 here, Gore's at 2 bars, and I was at 2 bars, and now I'm at SP3, and I'm like, oh wow, uh, well I wanted to hit his block there, so here he got to an SP2, which is annoying because I lost some of my health, but it's all good, uh, we drop the SP3, and it's gonna do a lot of damage because, uh, it consumes your clairvoyance charges to do extra attack on it, so that's pretty nice, and, uh, Gore is down to 60% health, now we need to bait a special attack real quick, and then, uh, and then we're gonna drop an SP2 right afterwards, so uh, after that, the scorer is gonna lose all his buffs again, and we have an absurd amount of power gain. We're at special 3 once again, so, like, this might have been where not having power max would have been better in this fight, because I want to be spamming SP2s, ideally, which, great, yeah, the SP2s do a lot of damage, but they're not as easy to control the gore, which was what the goal of this fight was, just kind of controlling him. So, it does make that a little bit more difficult, but it's totally okay. We're just gonna go for another SP2, just like that, and then this gore is gonna die from SP3 right after, which we're gonna drop right there. So, that is one dead gore, and that's my first of three Claire fights, all three of which are gonna go really, really nicely. Uh, spoiler alerts. So, you're gonna see the rest of them pretty soon. But, we do have a gladiator fight coming up, and it's gonna be against this Penny Parker on node 33. Basically, the only thing I need to worry about in this fight is ideally not pushing Penny to SP2 because I don't really want to block special attack hits in this fight because of the prowess node. So we're just gonna make it to to where uh, she only throws SP1s in this fight and I just, you know, use my unstoppable and cold snaps and stuff uh, to make it to where I can hit her a little bit during her specials, uh, during the unstoppable phase. I don't know if I actually do that in this fight, 
but it is an option if I do decide to go for it. So anyway, we're gonna counter her special right there with a heavy attack, and then I go for the counter right there, drop an SP1, and she's gonna drop her SP1, which I'm not at my 20 threshold of confidence yet, so I don't really feel like going ham on Penny right now because I, uh, I need to have a little bit more confidence to actually do that burst damage during her special attack, so. Uh, here, we need her to throw her special. She doesn't really feel like it, but there she finally does. There I should have whiffed a medium instead of a light because I didn't really have the reach otherwise. Um, but here, this penny is just about dead, and uh, we get an intercept there, and then that's that. So, next on, we move to the mini bosses, and to start that, we're going to be going against this Super Skrull on Node 42. And this Claire fight, I will not be using power backs because similar to the Gore one, my power is just going to skyrocket because I'm preventing a buff with buff immunity every time I touch him. So we really just want to uh, make sure that I don't go red as frequently as I did previously. And to do so, we're just going to use the SP2s a lot without power backs because I know I'm going to gain a bunch of clairvoyance charges. So I'm just going to keep that not skyrocketing if I can help it. So here we max out clairvoyance charges, so it's not like I'm going to get any more power. But I also do want to, um, I still want to power control them a lot, and I'm not going to be gaining SP2s as frequently um, because I have my clairvoyance charges maxed out. So it is something I do need to be aware of. It is something that I might need to um, drop my SP3 at some point in this fight. But as far as the control of the fight is going, it's really fine. Uh, because we knock him down there, and he's throwing SP1s a lot, which is what we want. We don't have any buffs on him at the moment, which is also really nice. And here I'm going to drop my SP2, but I did it into the falter like an idiot. So there, he doesn't counter me, luckily, but he does get reach two bars of power, which is not very good, because it means I have to take a lot of block damage, and luckily it wasn't the worst thing out there, but... He does have two Furies now, I do need to get rid of those real quick, which I do with my buff immunity, so uh, we're chilling at this point. Get a nice crit at the end of the special attack, except it was in protection, so not really. And here, at this point, uh, he's going to throw another SP2 uh, really soon, and I really should have tried to not let him get a bunch of Furies, because uh, that meant he had a lot more block penetration, so that's annoying, but at the same time, we're doing fine, the fight's almost over. Again, Claire isn't like a really fast champion, but she just controls fights really well, so uh, we're going to be able to kill him just like that with a combo, and he's dead, so. Alright, speaking of control, the amount of control in this Luke Cage fight you're about to see is utterly absurd, and I did not expect the fight to go this well. I knew it would work, but man, it, it really did work. Um, and this is the power of Luke Cage. Um, we are going to place the concussions on his SP2, and that is going to shut off literally everything that could possibly be a threat in this fight. Mangog is not going to be gaining uh, unstoppable or unblockable when he enters rage. We're going to be shutting off hazard shift. Just everything is going to go perfectly, uh, and it's going to be really great. So uh, we dropped the SP2 right there. And now he has concussion on him. We have exhaustions that are just going to prevent his power gain a lot too. Like it's just going to be beautiful from here on out. So I'm going to drop the SP1 I think. Uh, or maybe not. I'm going for another SP2. Which I probably... I think I'm going to go for SP1s later in this fight. Just to uh, do a bunch of burst damage. But the SP2s also benefit from power backs. So that is really nice there. Uh, so yeah, concussions are active, we're doing a bunch of damage, look at the burst damage there, beautiful, this Mangog is just controlled beautifully, he has like no chance of beating us here, and uh, yeah, the concussions are just taking care of business as usual, so uh, again, not like the Speedies fight out there, because he's not like the Speedies champion, but he definitely does still hit relatively hard, we drop another SP2, and then this Mangog is not dead yet, but he throws an SP1, he enters Hatred, but he does not gain Unstoppable or Unblockable because we shut it off. So there we go, that is the Mangog fight, and we have one final fight this war against this Gladiator on Node 47. This is just going to be another example of Claire's power control just being completely ridiculous. I do want power backs in this fight because of the fact that 
I'm not gonna be worried about going red every single time I throw a special in this fight because I am not triggering buff immunity every time I hit Gladiator like I was against Skrull and Gore. So I'm just gonna go for an SP2 in Poison Curse and this Gladiator is basically dead at this point because we're just gonna power control him to death, not give him the opportunity to throw his special attacks. That is just the power of Claire. That is why Claire is still relevant in this day and age in war settings because you can just make it where hey they aren't throwing special attacks anymore and while it isn't the fastest fight by any means the control levels are still kind of crazy so nice crit at the end of the special drop another sp2 um and we just keep power stealing him and uh here comes another one what do you know uh, there we go gladiator's health is just going down and obviously this gladiator is rank three so um we are punching at the biggest gladiator that you can possibly fight, so it's not going to be very fast, obviously. But still, uh, she's going to do a very good job. We drop another SP2, and there we go, more power steal, more power steal. And uh, I think at one point in the fight, he does throw a special attack into my block for some reason, uh, which kind of scared me a bit, but also it was fine, it wasn't too big a deal. Uh, here comes another SP2, uh, buff immunity is active, so he's not gaining any confidence, obviously, and um, he wouldn't gain any unstoppable from the SP1, too, so that's really nice. And there we go, he's gonna die with a, uh, well, I'm gonna eat a hit here, which I'm surprised that hit me, but uh, either way, he's dead just like that, so. Alright, so here is the very fun part. Um, you're gonna see the score from my battle group and you can see we got a donut this is the first donut i have ever had and um my officer my co-planner has been planning for 20 plus seasons on and off this is the first donuts that he has ever had so massive congratulations to my co-planner my officer i'm really happy for him really happy for me too because i've never had a donut before and uh yeah so i'm just very proud of our performance in my battle group because that's something i never thought i'd see and here we are but we did not unfortunately lose the war six to ten so it was a little bit of a rough setting in the other battle groups but i'm very proud of my own for doing a really good job so there we go first war is a loss but that's okay we're gonna be able to play really well in the next one i'm sure so anyway thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next video